group of other Presbyterians to Israel and Palestine. Our third and final stop as a complete tour group was in the area of the Sea of Galilee. On our way to Galilee, we stopped at the Jordan River to remember our baptisms in a moving service. As if cued, at the very end of the service, a white dove swooped down to visit us and then returned to the heavens. After the bustle of Jerusalem and the angsty quirkiness of Bethlehem, the tranquility of the Galilee region was a welcomed friend. Our first stop on the shores of the Sea of Galilee was at the Church of the Multiplication, but weary of church buildings, I chose to worship with the sea. As I stood in the Sea of Galilee, I was overwhelmed to think of Jesus standing in the edges of this very lake, taking in the same serene view. It's no wonder he chose to spend most of his earthly life on these shores and in the neighboring hills. In a few short days, I would begin my own trek in these hills, walking with nine others from our group, as well as a local guide from Nazareth to Capernaum, a total of about 50 miles. Here, you could see and feel the lives of Jesus and his closest followers. Having grown up in the dry plains of Kansas, boats are my nemesis. Rarely have I felt worse than while whale watching in Maine or taking a ferry to Iona in Scotland. But it seems all good trips include a boat at some point, and this trip was no exception. Fortunately, the boat that we boarded in the Sea of Galilee was small enough that it didn't make me seasick. I actually enjoyed the ride. We contemplated Jesus and his band of fishermen as a crew member demonstrated traditional fishing with a net. We explored the remains of towns Jesus would have visited and admired the Church of the Annunciation. My most cherished moment in the Galilee was the opportunity I had to lead our group in worship at the Mount of the Beatitudes. The beautiful garden surrounding this church on a hill, a hill just like Jesus would have preached from, offered the perfect backdrop for our contemplation of our part in seeking peace in the world. Joy, Sam, being glad. Your 
Galilee was as laid back as Jerusalem was bustling. It was as serene as Bethlehem was anxious. It was with joy that I anticipated the next few days hike from Nazareth to Capernaum. <laughs> <laughs> 